Hi there, welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how you can easily repair Windows 10 using its built-in automatic repair tool. Now if you can actually get to the desktop, if you click on the start menu, then settings, uh, click this, update and security, click the recovery tab, then under advanced startup, click on restart now. If you can't get it to your desktop, so if it keeps on crashing at every single reboot, um, insert your Windows 10 uh, DVD uh, that you installed Windows with and reboot and boot to that DVD. If you don't have that DVD available, if you go to this URL, I'll paste it in the description as well so you can just copy and paste it from there. And if you click on download tool, we're going to create an install media. So if you just click download, it will download this file. If you just double click on it, it will launch this application. So when you're in this app, click on accept, uh, select the second option, create installation media, click next, uh, just select your language and make sure you select if it's 32 bit or 64, mine is 64. Now, if you've got a USB drive, you can burn the media to US the USB drive and make that a bootable uh, media, or you can create an ISO file. Um, ISO file is just a file that you can do right click and burn to DVD so yeah if you select either option I guess uh, USB flash drive is the easiest uh, but I've already prepared that so I'm just going to close these programs and reboot to the uh, restart to the automatic repair tool right this is what the automatic repair tool looks like so if you just select your options and click next uh, don't click on install now click on repair your computer now click on troubleshoot advanced options and everybody always says to launch this startup repair the first thing I like to do is go to the command prompt and if you type in this command I'll also put this command in the description so you can easily see it. Uh, what this does is it checks your system for corrupt files because if you're having startup problems it's either going to be a corrupt operating system file or it's going to be some sort of change that's happened recently in your machine like you might have installed a program that's overwritten a file or you might have run Windows Update, installed a driver that has up upset the startup to the system. If you run this first, this is not going to make any changes on your system at all. It's just going to fix corrupt files. So if you run that, as soon as the scan's finished, just exit out and then restart your machine. Uh, hopefully you'll get to your desktop and it'll fix the problem. If not, come in here, troubleshoot, advanced options. If you click on that startup repair, um, this tool will then go through all of the startup um, sort of operating system files and make sure they look correct correct and sometimes it will replace them if it thinks they, they need it um, so that will make changes to your machine it shouldn't cause any problem but yeah it does make changes to your machine uh, if, if you're still having problems after that running that if you go onto system restore if you click that hopefully there's a restore point you can restore your system to uh, but, but just be aware if it was from a couple of months ago you might lose some files and programs that you've installed since then and if that doesn't work the last thing you can do is reset this PC what this is going to do is it's basically going to install Windows again from scratch uh, but it does give you the option to keep your files and applications so use this as the last result and just be very very careful if you do use it um, I hope you found this video useful if you have any comments please post them below let me know how you get on with this be very interested to to find out um, yeah Thanks a lot. See you in the next video.